Hi, my name is Heather Suchadolsky and I play horn with the Allen Philharmonic. In this video, we're going to talk about articulation. That's how your tongue begins a note that you play on your horn, or any instrument really. There's a bunch of different varieties of articulations. Legato, tenuto, staccato, accents, marcados, a bunch of different styles. But we're going to start, a, start with talking about the most basic type of articulation. Just a gentle, clear, neutral front to the note. So far, you've probably been using an air start to begin a note, like you're making a who sort of sound. Who to get the note to happen. That's okay. I'm fine with that. When you're comfortable starting a note and getting a good, clear, long and steady sound, then it's time to add the tongue to the front of the note. So we will want to have, while we're playing, we have our tongues resting low in the mouth. And then the very tip taste bud of your tongue is going to move up and touch right where your teeth meet your gums on the inside of your mouth. Not like, not yeah, that would be silly. <laughs> on the inside of your mouth, your tongue's going to reach up and touch right where your teeth meet your gums, maybe a little more on your teeth. And we'll make a syllable sound shape in our mouth like da or ta. Let's try that. And I want you to say this with me. Say da with me and think and feel what part of your tongue touches where in your mouth. You ready? Da. Let's do that again. Da. Do you feel your tongue touching a little more on the gums? Feel that? Now let's try ta. Ready? Ta. My teeth. My tongue touches more of the back of my teeth there. Ta. That's good. That's the idea. We want to make sure that it's not a la kind of sound. La with your tongue scraping up against the back of your teeth. Or a pa with your lips starting the sound. It's ta or da with your tongue moving down like a trap door opening up. All right, cool. Let's try that. So carefully grab your horn. And let's see if we can play that on any one of our open notes. G or E or middle C. I'm going to make my horn face. Om. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thinking da there. I like that as a good articulation syllable. Cool. Let's try that together. You ready? Make your horn face. Om. Place the mouthpiece, rotate out. So you're going to take a big breath in through your nose. Your tongue's going to rest low in the mouth and then come up and touch where your teeth meet your gums. Then you're going to start to blow your air and your tongue's going to move down and release the air. That's what we want. We want that breath in, tongue touches, releases the air. Excellent. <clears throat> now let's try to play four notes in a row. What's important with this as we move through these repeated pitches, we want to make sure that our air is flowing all the way through those notes. So let's try that. Keep the air moving fast between the notes, but your tongue's just going to flip up, touch that articulation point, and then come back down to resting low in your mouth. Ready? Here I go. Make my horn face. Om. Mm hmm mm hmm Let's try that again. Listen how even my notes are. Make the horn face. Om. Mm hmm mm hmm One more time. Now you do it with me and make sure that you've got air flowing all the way through there and listen for your four even notes. Ready? Big breath. Make your horn face. Om. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Excellent. Make sure every note ends in that ah kind of sound with your air. It's not a toot, toot or toop, 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 
da 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 ta ta tu tu no we want to end our notes with air and keep that air flowing all the way through my best advice on practicing articulations is to keep listening try to make four even sounding notes the same sound at the very beginning all the way from beginning to end keep listening and keep your air moving all the way through those notes like you're blowing one big long note but your tongue's just interrupting that sound good luck with this it's a lot of fun articulating notes is super great if you've been air starting notes when you go to put the tongue start on there it's going to work so much better for you you're going to have a lot better of a time all right cool i hope you're having a great time learning to play french horn i'll catch you next time